the pillory was typically made from wood or steel. A person going into this torture device had their hands and neck placed between two hinged wooden boards. While the pillory may not be as ghoulish as the other devices, it caused some serious problems. Imagine having your head locked in the pillory for days at a time. No stretching, sitting or sleeping. All the while your neighbors are throwing rotten vegetables and bricks at your face. Primarily used as a humiliation device, the pillory was placed in the middle of town so everyone could gather around and chunk crap at the offender. S. Thieves, liars and cheaters were the common targets. A typical trip to the pillory would only last a few hours but could last much longer. Death was rare but not unheard of. Mobs of disgruntled neighbors often threw heavy logs, bricks and other dangerous objects. The torture chair did more than torture its victim. It stuck fear in the minds of any medieval citizen accused of a crime. Also known as the Judas Chair, this iron spike throne was used in Europe until the late 1800s. To keep its victim from moving, it was equipped with straps for both arms and legs. Some versions offered a large wooden plank which was tightened slowly, pushing the spikes deeper into the victim's flesh. It is amazing how the most simplistic device can be so effective. This is another one of those cheap and crafty tools of torture. Essentially, it's a double-sided fork fastened to a leather strap which is tightened around the neck. One side is placed under the chin and the other side on the sternum. The victim was propped up or tied in a way that kept them from laying down. After several days of no sleep, Also known as the choke pair, this pear-shaped torture device was used during the Middle Ages. It was divided into four spoon-shaped segments that spread apart by turning the screw on top. It is widely believed the pair of anguish was used on liars, homosexuals and adulterers. For liars, this tool was placed in the mouth to keep them from speaking. As for homosexuals and adulterers, it could be used in the vagina or anus. Ouch. This incredible torture device sounds like a dirty sexual act, right? If you heard someone say I gave her a Spanish donkey, you might not even bat an eyelash. Despite its name, the Spanish donkey is equally as tortuous as any device on the list. It was usually crafted from wood but some versions fashioned an iron wedge on top. The victim was forced to straddle the wedge while large weights were chained to their feet. The wedge was tall enough to keep the victim's feet dangling off the ground. As you can imagine, gravity does its work and the rest is history. <laughs>